we, we are constantly looking to recruit police officers. Um, I was Attorney General between 2006 and 2008, and we had exa almost exactly the same deficit of police officers then as we do now. At that time, though, one of the common features was a lot of, was that Barbadian police officers would leave and go to work in Bermuda, Libya, and so on. That is less a feature now, but our deficit is still the same. The, the intake in, in the class at the police training school before this one was only 18 police officers. Just 18, okay? This current class has, has a significantly higher number. Uh, you may have noticed that we've been employing social media, GIS, with some, some ads to try to encourage people to think seriously about joining the police force. Um, and because it's still a very good career option for individuals. Um, we are heartened by the fact that the last, the current intake is higher, but of course, remember that as you bring in people are also leaving. Yes, we have a deficit, but key for us now will be how do we respond to that deficit? And we believe that there are a number of things that we can do and that the force can do in order to be able to to more more readily deal with the crime situation with the numbers that they have. So for example, um, the police force continues to examine the option of not having police officers go to traffic accidents unless they're serious or unless they're fatalities. You're a journalist, you see it all the time, a little fender bender, and the people get on and say, I'm moving, call the police. Now that happens <laughs> a few other places in the world. But what it means is that you need to take, you then end up taking two police officers out of a station who could be better used to be doing more serious police work to come out to offend the men in Massacre Park. I mean, that is, in a wonderful world, we should do that. But especially when we have a deficit in, in our numbers and, and we're not going to be able to rebuild at the rate in which we need to, we have to start thinking about how we deploy our manpower. And things like that are, are front of mind for me as Attorney General. And I've quite a point, a point by asked the police commissioner to bring me a proposal to decide which traffic which traffic accidents we're going to. Obviously you'll go to very serious. Obviously you'll go where there's a fatality. But in in many places in the world, police do not go to traffic accidents. Those are matters for insurance companies. Because there's, there's very little reason generally for a police officer to investigate a true accident. With an accident, the cause of an accident is that there's no criminal culpability. So that's one way. The other way that we're going to be approaching um, how to better utilize the resources will relate to the police civil character office. Six police officers manage the civil character office. That has to be a thing of the past. So we're going to be, be almost, complete, almost completely computerizing the police civil character office to deliver a speedy, efficient um, service to Barbadians at minimum cost but you don't need a police, to be a police officer to check records to certify that an individual has been convicted or not. You don't even need a civilian to do that. Technology can take care of that for us. So that's another six. There are other areas in the force where police officers are doing work that civilians should be doing. So that's another area that we consider low hanging fruit. So we're going to be looking at that as well. Basically, what we're saying is that History and tradition shows that everything that happens within the Royal Barbados Police Force, almost everything is done by a police officer, but that is not necessary, um, and we're going to change that. There was a time, you probably don't know it, but there was a time when police officers used to administer driving tests and used to issue passports. They did, because that was considered to be police work too, but you don't see that happening now. Those people, those are now. I mean, it's obvious that it's civilian work, isn't it? But there was a time when it was police officers that did it. So we're looking to address our shortage by, in the next year, um, helping police officers through use of technology, through different policing strategies to better utilize the resources that we have.